Hey guys, it's your girl Destiny here. Um, I guess I'm starting a new vlog, looking crazy. That's okay. That is completely okay. I'm going into what? My trash. Um, I'm just looking for something to drink. I just got Chipotle. And I just got home from school and work. I've been out and about all day. All, all day. Doing like seven to sevens all week. And I'm exhausted. I am not even seven to seven. It's not even seven yet. I'm doing seven to sevens a couple days a week. And then seven to whatever else. But I just got home from a long day. A long week today's thursday tomorrow's friday hopefully it goes by super duper fast i get a little rest this weekend and some work done i'm drinking one of my faves the simply watermelon one of my new favorites and i'm probably i'm probably gonna want a little bit more so I'm gonna, or a little bit oh a little bit more for the chipotle bowl Yes, sir. Okay, so I just got back from Target. I'm getting my friend a gift. My friend Nigeria a gift. You know Justin's got to put the gift together in the car. So I got this little fuzz and these little tags I can sign. To put everything in this cute little basket. Okay, so here is what the basket looks like. I had some chocolates in here, so I thought it was cute to put through those in there. Got her some lashes, some soap, some body wash that I really like. Um, she always like asks me about products that I really like, so I put her on something. Got her a coffee mug that's like glass and a citrus garden candle. It smells really good. I think it smells great. Like I low key want to keep it open, but she'll see. And then a rare beauty lipstick that's called Fun. Um. It's a really pretty color and I think it'll be nice on her. And then some lotion, some daily moisturizer. I really got this moisturizer because it matched the basket feeling, to be honest. And I thought I wanted to go with like a more neutral color scheme because my friends pick on me for always doing stuff aesthetic. But I added a little bit of color by adding these lashes and then adding these chocolates. These sea salt caramel ones, which I think are really good. So added a few and I'm trying to make it look real pretty but I think it does I think it looks aesthetic again then I added these on the side this little tag on the side just says happy birthday XOXO destiny so she knows it's from me it just looks like I put thought into it so and that's exactly what happens so I hope she likes it but besides her gift you know I can go to Target and I get right got this new candle from that Frenchie, Being Frenchie by Ashley Tisdale. Her line, it's a wax blend infused with coconut and soy wax. It's a paraben, vegan, cruelty free, and fragrance infused from essential oils. This one is the Cashmere Vanilla. If you know me, I am a vanilla girl to a T. It has mood science and scent technology, and it's the smooth and comfort reset candle so now i love that it has this little cutout so you can sniff the candle um in the box but this is how the candle looks it's like it says ritual light anytime it feels soothed and comforted that's how the candle looks it's recycled glass i think it says this is a jar made from 100 percent recyclable glass yeah remove remaining wipes before yeah this whenever i smelled this i was like triggered to feel like that's kind of how i candle shop if i smell it and my body says bodies i need it 
peep Miss Unicorn. <laughs> Long story short, she here with me now. My little sister left her unicorn, so I've been taking over. Babysitting her, her name is Daisy. And Daisy and I are about to have dinner. I'm about to show y'all my dinner. I gotta finish cutting my dinner up. The girl on TikTok said, ordered a salad from Publix, so. I got the salad from Publix, the chicken tender salad, and I put all the toppings on there. They were supposed to dice it up more, but they didn't because they were kind of in a rush because that Publix was so packed, specifically the sub section was jumping today. I don't know. She said it was like, it's like that at like six o'clock, five o'clock. So yeah, but it took a minute. Anyway, I'm gonna dump some of this out so I can chop some of this stuff up more and toss it. I got the sauce in here. It was doing too much to where she couldn't put the last two chicken tenders or the sauce in here good. So I'm gonna redo that. This is my dessert, my watermelon. I meant to get a smaller bowl, but they didn't have one. So I just got the next, next big thing. And then if this didn't feel me, like if I felt like, eh, I'm not feeling a salad no more, like partially through it. I was gonna eat some sushi to see if that fills me because the rice. So I got that, but I'm gonna send my sister a picture of her unicorn doing something random. Woo! You feel me like? I'm cleaning y'all. You see. Me, me, one. Two, two, two. I'm hyped. I drank a, I went to a Tropical Smoothie Cafe this morning and got a uh, Paradise Point with whey protein in it. I want this little scarf situation. Breaker shorts, some shades, a little crossbody on. Just giving relaxed and my new balances. Just giving relaxed in that girl. I also went to go pick up, the background may not be the best right now. It's okay. I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning. So I just left from picking up a gift from one of my friends. I went to Nothing Bunk Cakes. I put it in the fridge so one. My friends and I pulled together to get her a cute little Nothing Bunk Cakes tower. I didn't fridge just so I didn't like melt on me. So I know it's cream cheese. So I put it in there and then I also got her a separate gift by myself. I got her an I'm holding stuff, trying to clean it at the same time. Y'all see the soy sauce and everything. I got her this cute little mug from Walmart. If it will clear up. Cute little mug from Walmart, because I know she just moved into her new apartment. It's polka dot spotted. Like, I would have got this for myself. Um, With the gold handle. So cute. With these cute chocolates. I know it's cute. I'm not sure if she really likes chocolates, but I like white chocolate and hazelnut, so... I thought, why not? And it matched the aesthetic. It was like cream and gold. And then I got her Rare Beauty lipstick. That's cream and gold. The pop out. And then I got her a gold, aka keychain, because she is my LS. So everything's cream and gold in here. I wanted to add some lashes that I had. But they don't match the aesthetic. So yeah, and then I added this cute little tag. I love putting together small little gifts like this. It's a little cute little grad gift. Not too much, not too much, but just enough. I think it's so cute. I may just go grab a little gift card too, like a Starbucks one just for like boom bam. I don't know, maybe grab something else to go in here, but I thought it was a cute little gift. We're going to dinner tonight. And I also got the candles. Well, we all put together to get the cake and stuff, so. Yeah, my hair is just in a bunzy with a scarf on right now. I have to get ready soon. Not soon. The dinner's tonight at 7, the reservations. But Charlotte is jumping this weekend because of the football game and the tailgates and everything. So I don't want to be running behind, so I'd rather be running early. I like to go to shopping the mall. Yeah. Shopping the mall. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm so tired. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. It's not the morning I need it anymore. But I am eating my first meal of the day. Which is oh hold on. My allergies are crazy. 
which is some watermelon from Publix right out the container. I ran out of plastic spoons and I don't feel like washing a fork. So we're eating with the spoon. It's just as good. Anyway, I sat down because I sat down because I want to get into my content planner. I bought this a couple weeks ago. This is specifically for content. It's a book by what's the author's name? Her name's Anne. Anne Wynn. She created this content planner. I saw Aaliyah's face with it, but I saw it a couple. I think I saw it last year before this actually came out. Um, this is the 2022 planner and before the year ends i wanted to just try to get into a consistent schedule i need to do this with my like everyday life get a planner there was a time where i a plan i lived by my planner and i was very productive every day whenever i did that and i had a planner and i had time to dig into my planner so i just want to break this down i want to get into it it had a lot of cute things that i saw in it and I think this will help me with consistency. So I'm going to start off with the first page. Put my name in it. Who this planner belongs to. And look at how cute this aesthetic is. <sighs> and then I'm going to break it down. I'm just going to take my time and try to go through this thing and start it off. I'm write down a few of my goals because I see there's a part for that. Uh, oh, that was the air. Um, monthly goals. I'm gonna write down some of my goals and break down a few things that I would like to do. In London, I like to go and shop at the mall, shop at the Prada, shop at the store, shop in a drop and stop into you all. Okay, y'all, I've done the first few pages and filled out what I need to do. I know exactly from what I've learned recording. Let me lift this up so you can hear a little bit better from what i've read in the book it let me the first page was pretty much writing who it belongs to what's your assets on like your skills what are like my strong suits when creating content and then i found my niche i found who i'm inspired by who are some people who i am inspired by creatively content wise like i'm like i see their picture i'm like yeah yeah that's what i kind of want my niche to be but not exactly because obviously it's only one me in the world so i would be making my own content but yeah some people i'm inspired by and now i can get down into me the first little part was very insightful i liked it because it made me write it down i know these things about myself but it made me write it down and like see it in front of me i like it a lot but the first page into me breaking down my concept it says you are absolutely capable of creating the life you can't stop dreaming about. It's like a little inspirational part for the next page. And I'm like obsessed because yes, I love it. It's very motivational, but very motivating. It's very motivating. Yeah. And it says this month's goals. So I'm just going to write down a few of my goals and hopefully I do not forget about this thing hopefully i'm consistent and i do this for real because I, I really want to make this a real thing for me we are going to fashion week uh, we're going to fashion week i don't know where i'm starting this vlog off but if i am hey y'all it's your girl Destiny Lene, and we are going to fashion week well my fashion week starts this weekend i'm flying up to philly and i'm going to new york for a fashion week event it's my first time going to new york for a fashion week event and i'm very very much so excited as heck and scared like i have no clue why i'm scared but i'm like scared and hype i'm packing my bag right now last minute for use and i'm trying to pull myself together um my hair's not done i have to pack my hair i have to pack everything the pack makeup stuff but y'all i am beyond hype and the clothes i'm supposed to wear are in the mail 
right now. The mail got here yesterday, but my key thing for the um, mail room is like not working. So I can't get in there until tomorrow whenever the people are in my mail room. So yeah, that's the thing with that. But yeah, I'm type type. I got press-ons for this. I didn't even get my nails done or nothing. I got press-ons for this. My toes look a mess. I probably need to paint them, but they still have a little bit of gel on them. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have no prep, no nothing. We just out here raw. Hopefully I look cute. Hopefully I make some connections. And hopefully this weekend is one for the books. So right now, I just have some shoes and some bags that I'm thinking about taking. I know a few of the outfits that I ordered from the brand the brand i'm going to see their show is revolve i'm going to see their gallery show with y'all look at these a mess a mess i have to do something for my toes like the gel will not come off on those other toes i'm trying to file it down and then paint them and then hopefully it looks good so yeah anyway i'm packing shoes like my go-to's like mules and walkable heels i have a pair that is in the box should be in the package so i'm hoping to pack those those are like tan heels but i have pretty much the basic colors i don't think i want to go too too crazy with the colors and i have only a few fits and these are what i think will go i don't want to pack too much because now for baggage you can only have like 40 pounds which is so freaking annoying like 40 pounds what the heck am i gonna do with that i was already struggling with the 50 but they're like charging more for the pounds hopefully i can pull it together in time for tomorrow so we'll see okay 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 y'all so i ended up getting the key fob situation fixed and I got my packages that I'm supposed to wear. I got the skirt and stuff. I hope everything fits. I'm not gonna take them out the packaging. I'm just gonna take them with me. Just a few of the pieces. This skirt and this top matches way better than what I thought. I'm gonna pack it up in there. I still have on my work clothes, everything. I have to put on my, uh, I have to put on my airport clothes. I'm keeping my hair the same right now. But everything looks pretty cute. I, I don't have enough time to try it on. I really don't. And the freaking, the shoes that I got, they look so cute. They, they're from the Ray Collection. Yeah. The Ray Collection. So cute. And they don't look bad. They are seven and a half. They don't look bad height-wise. And I like a strap up heel. I hope they strap up pretty tight. Just a cute nude color. Pretty much my skin tone to wear and it comes with a dust bag how perfect i'm gonna put them in here and then put them in the bag real quick i took out the fuzzy sandals i'm not sure if i told y'all that last night but i took those out because i have these nude heels and honestly the fuzzy sandals and the nude heels can like be switched out for either one yes dust bag shout out to ray and revolve uh all right where do i want to put these shoes at put them right here in here and then i'm just gonna pack everything flat this plaid top this top but not this little mini skirt it should be oh i'm tripping up y'all i'm like stressed i really pray that this bag is not over 40 pounds i really do pray because i think we got time bro 40 pounder. I kind of want to brush my teeth. Just lift this up. This doesn't feel like 40 pounds. It really doesn't. It doesn't feel over 40 pounds. What should I say? Okay. I think we're good to go. I'm going to change my clothes real quick. And then we're on the road. Delay in plans, not delay in plans, a little wrench in the plans. My mom is supposed to take me to the airport. Looks like I may have to be, I may have to take myself to the airport. Insane. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
it's okay it's okay everything's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine things gonna work out yeah <laughs> so i'm trying to tell myself but yeah um yes let me focus on this getting ready and hopefully i'll talk to y'all at the airport y'all see who i'm with y'all we just made it i just touched down where are we in we in philly no we're not we're in jersey i flew into philly and then now we're driving to jersey my sister lives and then tomorrow is it tomorrow it's the day after tomorrow tomorrow is, oh tomorrow is the big day we live we having fun and yeah i'm hype we're sitting here in jersey is the traffic is deep like the line i ain't gonna show y'all where we going but the line is red all the way through with traffic so this is our life right now Homer hanging on my neck The bracelet match is a set My brother name is Tina Dollar Stop all that back and forth over the net My mama wish I would've went corporate She wish I would've went exec Still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec, Chevy, Roy, Mon Beck. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the net. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring a D block, cause you know how sticky it get. Hey, you know how sticky it get. Hey, you know how sticky it get. Hey, you know how sticky it get. We finna get ready. Day two. I'm doing a bun situation. Oh this is the bag. Really Hopefully good. it looks good. My sister said it look good. Make sure you're lying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be mad. It's a cute little bun. It's cute, it's cute. I got a little bang situation. I gotta do my little makeup and everything. For well, yeah, I have pink so yellow. I'm just gonna start to get ready. So yesterday, let me give y'all a quick recap while I'm kind of getting ready. They chat and stuff in the But yeah, so pretty much we went to a Revolve um, Gallery yesterday. Had a great time. It was really cool to just see everybody. A bunch. It was really cool to see a bunch of influencers in their element. Just a really cool experience all together. I was really hyped to be there. Really grateful to be there. And I'm hyped to be out here for day two. I hope it's really fun. I see there's a bunch of famous people here. Obviously, it's New York Fashion Week. But I see a lot of influencers that I really love out here. I hope I run into some people and hopefully make some good connections. Because there's a lot of girls I'm friends with and I talk to on socials. But I've never met in real life. I'm like, eh. I would love to meet them and see them out here um i think it'll be a great networking opportunity we just need to find the right place to be yesterday we had a good time at the revolve gallery but we spent majority of our time at the revolve gallery today we'll be able to explore a little bit more and just go to whatever's open i was only invited to the revolve gallery so that's the only thing i had set and planned everything else we're kind of winging it and hopefully next year i'll be invited to more and more events so that it's it's a little bit more put together and organized but i just gotta keep grinding y'all and keep posting content because i really do love doing this i really do today is my last day for fashion week and hopefully something good happens Yeah, yeah.